we take one strand from this fiber optical cable, then connect it to our outdoor PoE switch. The client needs to install 50 IP cameras following the parameters of this property. Those locations with the camera's icon have the AC electricity power presented. The network video recorders are located in this control room. He plans to install the outdoor PoE switch in these locations and connect the IP cameras nearby and use the fiber optic cables to link all this PoE switch to the control room. But he doesn't want to put the fiber optic cable directly to the control room from this outdoor PoE switch since it's going to damage the construction on the surface. He wants to use one fiber optic cable following the parameters of these properties and link all this outdoor PoE switch back to the control room. It's straightforward, but it creates a single failure point. Imagine if this switch failures, it's going to lose all the IP cameras behind these switches. The better solution will be connect the last PoE switch back to the first PoE switch to form a real network topology. If this switch failures, the rest of the switch will take the different path to send the signal back to the control room. But the real network topology requires the switch support a spectral protocol, ERPS. This is the switch with the ERPS support. There's two SLP slots. Let's say the SLP slot on the top was with the fiber optic cable from the left, and the SLP slot on the bottom was with the fiber optic cable from the right. At the beginning, the ERPS aggregator will monitor the status of these two SLP slots and set one SLP slot in the standing by mode. Basically, it will block the signal transmission on the one of the SAP slot and keep another SAP slot running. If the ERPS aggregator detects the link on the running port just down, it will turn on the second port and send the data through the opposite path and go back to the control room. You may wonder why the switch not turn on the both ports at the same time. It's not going to work since it's going to create a dead load and broadcasting stone. It will create crash the network immediately in this real network topology. But not all the PoE switch support the ERPS protocol. At least a manager PoE switch or red smart PoE switch doesn't support the ERPS. Only the middle level or high level PoE switch support the ERPS. Moreover, if two switch failures, let's say these two outdoor PoE switch just stand, definitely it's going to lose all the IP cameras within these two switches. In this video, we are going to present an alternative solution. We are not going to use the ERPS with the ring network topology. We are also not going to put a fiber optic cable through these constructions. Now let's move to the demonstration board and see how we can work on this network with the different method. Before we dive into the detail, let's say we have three online courses. It covers the IP camera, access point, fiber optic cable, etc. I'll put the link in the description below, it's completely free. We will implement the most common network topology, star network topology in this case. But remember the client doesn't want to put the fiber optic cables from this outdoor PoE switch to the control room directory, since it's going to damage the construction on the surface. We will have to put the fiber optic cables following the perimeter of the properties. We have one fiber optical strand coming from the control room, go to the first locations, then we set up the outdoor PoE switch in the first location, then we have the fiber optic cable going to the second location, then the second outdoor PoE switch, and the third location, and the outdoor PoE switch, then move on. We are taking the advantage of the fiber optical strand in the fiber optic cable. Single fiber optic cable can carry multiple fiber optical strands. This is a 12 strand fiber optic cable. You see, there's no much size increase of this fiber optic cable, but we are getting 12 fiber optic strands because the fiber optic strand is very slim. So it's not going to increase the diameter of the fiber optic cables, even if we increase the fiber optic strands. In our case, we are using the four strand fiber optic cables. This is the Fiber optical switch, it has 
eight fiber optic slot on the left plus two fiber optic slot on the right. We have connected four fiber optic strand to the first fiber optic slot, and then we will connect all this out for out of POE switch to this fiber optic strand. And the network video recorder is connected to our code switch. Let's go to our first distribution box. This distribution box will distribute fiber optic strand from this pre-made fiber optic cable. This is the single mode pre-made fiber optic cable. It has four strands and the connectors are made in the factory. I don't need to build a connector in the field. And here is the 100 meter fiber optic cable with four strands and it's connected to this terminal box. It distributes one strand to this outdoor PoE switch and sends other three not used strands to the next location. This is the outdoor PoE switch. The fiber optical strands connect to this SFP transceiver in one of these SFP slots. This outdoor PoE switch accepts the AC power input. It can connect the PoE IP cameras, provides the power and data exchange to those cameras nearby. Let's test one of these cameras. The power indicator is on and data indicator is on as well. Now the PoE switch provides the power and the data is strange with the camera. We have three not used strands going to the next locations. In this location, we also have the outdoor PoE switch. It grabbed one strand from this terminal box. It leaves two not used strands and then go to the another locations. And then we got outdoor PoE switch next to these locations and move on. Totally we can have for auto PoE switch by using just one fiber optic cable following the parameters of the properties since we do have four strands inside this fiber optic cable. Now let's open this terminal box and say what we have inside. This is the waterproof terminal box. First let me open the kit to see the components inside. The fiber optical strands coming from the control room is connected to the copper on the top. We do have three strands fiber optical cable is going to this cable and go to the next location. We take one strand from this fiber optical cable then connect it to our outdoor PoE switch. If you're wondering why we can use just one fiber optical strands to establish the network connection to the code switch. Since this is the BITI transceiver, it takes the different wavelength to transmit and receive the data. One fiber optical strand is enough. The AC power just go to this electricity brick. And then we do have the search protector next to this brick. If the search coming from this incoming cable, the search protector will release the search to the ground. And we have the clean output and connect to our outdoor period switch to provide the power to this outdoor period switch. In our client setup case, we do need to pull the fiber optical strands from the control room to both directions. One fiber optic cable can carry four outdoor period switches. Totally, we will have eight outdoor period switches in the system using two fiber optic cables. This, this, this setup works better than the ERPS because the distance between these switches is quite short. If the distance between these switches is longer, such as 2 kilometers, even longer, it will be better to use the ERPS since it's more cost effective. Alright, that's all for today's video. If you have any question, please post a message in the comment section below.